Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the reef. Uh, so not a whole lot happened today. Uh, I made a hi Riley. I made a I made new jugs of calcium <coughs> additive. Shush. We're just doing a thing quick, okay? Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I refilled the calcium <coughs> supplement jug and uh, the bicarbonate. It's just really boring, so I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't record it. Um, I tried to test the nitrate with the Hanna checker, but it's broken. It turns on, but it won't uh, go past the um, the first like next button press. It's just stuck there. So I, um, I'll try to change out the battery and see if that works. If not, I'm gonna have to reach out to Bull Green Supply because it should be under warranty. Um, otherwise, I just uh, I recorded a couple uh, little videos today uh, throughout the day. So they'll follow this. So I hope you enjoy them and have a great day. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the reef. So uh, here's a little clip of me cleaning my least favorite item to clean. Because I've got to get it ready to ship it out to get a part made for it. So this is the skimmer cup. This is the lid. Uh, I'm having Fish of Hex is 3D printing a spacer that will go on this and will let us uh, turn our skimmer into a recirculating CO2 skimmer which will save us money in the long run of not using so much reactor CO2 absorbent because that shit gets expensive. So I just want to clean this so that it's nice and pristine for him to get the measurements and stuff off of because it has to be custom made. Unfortunately, I am using a skimmer of a company that doesn't exist anymore. It's Skims, and uh, apparently a couple of years back, or a year, a couple of years or something, they uh, went under. So, which is a shame, because I've always used their skimmers, and uh, I, I think they're, they're great, they're a great company, they, but whatever. Here we are. <clears throat> so, just use this little brush, clean it out, scrub it down. This is the easy part. Here comes the horrible disaster. See all that goop? <laughs> that is all the biological material that the skimmer has been pulling out and hasn't been like completely liquid or like was really or was thicker a thicker liquid that didn't get to the drain and go into the skimmer the skimmate locker but look at that Ugh. we're gonna actually turn the exhaust fan on here before I get murdered by my wife We'll use some hot water. Ideally, you don't want to use hot water on stuff uh, just because the it's not going to damage the equipment. Um, but hot water uses uh, it can gain some minerals uh, from being in the hot water heaters, especially depending on how old your hot water heater is. So I just use it to get it, uh, get the goop loosened up a little bit, and then, and then I switch back to the cold water. You can see it's already looking better. This is so big, and the stuff is just so caked on, it'll just clog up the toothbrush. So I do the the rough clean with just my hand. And then I'm going to have to go get a pipe cleaner. 
Oh no, it's still pretty clear, but I will get a pipe cleaner and I'm gonna clean out that. See, it's kind of building and man collecting. And uh, that would be no bueno if that were clogged. So it's taking all the, the skin mate out. Ideally, any minute now, the injector pump will kick in and pump all this crap out. I'm not going to have the, the lid, obviously, while it's having the part made. So I got this little cover from the store, and we'll cover that up with it. But that's cleaning the skimmer. Fun, fun, fun. Have a great day. Don't forget to like the video. So this is how we do get our stuff ready. So there's two vials for the Triton's ICP test and the instructions say to fill each vial and rinse it three times with the tank water and then fill it and then seal it. <clears throat> so that's vial one. Rinse. Next step. So we just gotta dry it off because we have to attach the barcode label. <clears throat> so prior to doing this, you need to go onto uh, the website set up an account, and link your barcode. The barcodes then go on the vials. Then they go into the little bubble mailer, the pouch, and then into the box that, that it actually comes with. Close it up. And it goes into the prepaid shipping envelope. It also comes in it. Get a little sticker. Fold it over. And Dunzo. We'll drop this in the mail. And we'll see if uh, all of our tin is gone. <laughs>